The cardiac cycle is often taught with a variety of different representations, animations of the heart beating, graphs of pressure or volume changes, and tracings of heart sounds and electrical activity. This diagram brings together several of these types of representations to help you form connections between these ways of looking at the heart. For example, this diagram may help you see the correlation between mechanical events, for example contraction and valves closing, and the heart sounds, between the tracing of the heart's electrical activity and the changes in pressure, and between the pressure of the left ventricle and its volume. You can tap on the heart to play the animation of the heart beating and tap again to pause it. You can also use the slider at lower left to adjust the transparency of the heart's layers so you can see just the left heart, just the right heart, or the two sides beating together. When the heart is paused, you can drag your finger over the time axis of the center graphs to move through the cardiac cycle. Here are some key things to observe as you play with the diagram. The center stack of three graphs, one above the other, is called a Wiggers diagram. It has a common time axis so that if you draw a vertical line, it cuts through all three graphs at what corresponds to the same time in the cardiac cycle. The middle graph in the Wiggers diagram is the phonocardiogram, a sound tracing of the heart beating. Listen to the heart sounds with headphones and watch the phonocardiogram to correlate S1 and S2 with the sounds. Just above the phonocardiogram is a tracing of heart pressures versus time for the left ventricle, left atrium, and aorta. Drag your finger along the time axis to correlate the pressure changes with the contraction and relaxation of the heart. For example, you can see that pressure rises as the heart is contracting, and the pressure falls after the heart begins its relaxation. You can also drag your finger along the time axis to see how the valves opening and closing correspond to the pressure changes. For example, you can see that the aortic valve opens when the left ventricular pressure rises above aortic pressure. You can see how the aorta expands slightly as it receives blood and recoils slightly when the aortic valve is closed to keep blood flowing to the body. This action in the diagram is fairly subtle. You can also see that the electrical activity of the heart, the lower middle tracing, precedes mechanical activity. For example, the sharp electrical spike represents electricity spreading through the ventricles. This initiates the LV contraction that shows up as the large LV pressure rise. The PV loop on the right has no time axis. Its pressure axis is the same as for the Wiggers diagram. You can drag your finger along the time axis of the Wiggers diagram to see that each corner of the PV loop corresponds to the opening or closing of a heart valve. 